everyone. Welcome back to RTS. And what are we going to do today? As you can see, we're going to record this story. Yes, we are scrapbooking, scrapbooking, and more scrapbooking. Today is day 14 of load, which stands for layout a day. And if you want to see what the load event is, click in the description box below. There's one coming up in October. I suggest you look into it. It is fun. Seriously fun. So today the prompt that Alice gave us was the Ryan Gosling meme and the whole hey girl type of situation. So what are we going to do? Well, I thought hey girl. I thought of my girl. And so I'm going to do a page about her. And I have been working on an album. Well, it's like a continuous album. And it's pages that is about 50 letters of advice for mom. And I think I'm a past I think I've surpassed 50 letters, but it's really 50 pages of advice I give to my daughter. And this is going to be one of those pages and I'm going to add it to that album. And I'm basically done with that album, but over time I just keep adding pages to it. And that's the beauty of an album. You keep adding to it. So what are we going to do? Well, one of the prompts is to get the actual Hey Girl into a title. And so I thought, you know, when I saw this photo, Hey Girl, and some advice I want to give my girl is that everything's going to be all right. And then the Bob Marley song popped in my head. And so that's what I'm going to do. Am I going to get all of that in my title? I don't know. <laughs> it's going to take a lot of thickers for that. But since this is furloughed, this does have to be a fast page. So what did I do? I saw this photo. I saw the colors. I saw that green, the black and white. And it made me think of my knockoff kit of the pig, Pink Paisley All Burnt Lane Collection. And that is what I grabbed because... I'm going to have everything to the left, everything to the right, and it's going to be a fast page. So I grabbed another one-page sketch from the Scrapbook Generations one-page sketch volumes, and I will have those linked below. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to quickly show my sketch because it is a paid sketch, and I can't really show that. But I only need, really, a few patterns, and some of them are going to be scraps. And I really don't have a lot of scraps yet since I'm just playing with this kit. I think this is my third time I'm pulling it out within like a week or so. So it's going good. So this is what I need. And what colors do I have? I have black, white, and that green, which I had trouble in this kit. I had trouble coming up with this green. And I can tell you, when I'm done with my spending freeze, forest green is going to have to be something I look into. I just don't have a lot of that. And so... This is what I want to say when you're picking out patterns and you know the whole mood and feel thing that I go with. Since this is of a young person and it's my daughter and she's not really into the floral thing like I am. So I am going to step out of my comfort zone and work on the geometrics. Um, and this would be a nice mat. Mm, okay, so we're going there. I, you know break out of my comfort zone and look into some florals. Florals. No, what did I just say? I'm going to break out of my comfort zone and go with some geometrics. And I definitely want to stay away from the cream if I can because she has such a, a white shirt on. And so I am seriously... And see, this has more floral. It repeats the same pattern that's in my embossed cardstock. So I'm going to skip that. And, you know, I have to make fast choices. I'm not going to pay attention. I would like to get some pink in. Oh, yes. You know, okay. We're going here. You know, it's my little girl. I got to get some pink in. I, I still, I have to use this piece of paper. I should just put it in a frame. I love it that much. Okay. And geometrics. And, you know, I don't have time to lollygag. I have to go through my papers pretty quick. I like this. The black and white floral. No, skipping. And, if you notice, I'm not paying attention to my bead sides. I have my mood and feel in my brain. I have my photo here. And the stripes would be nice because she loves the Kate Spade look, as all young girls do. Oh, but you know what? Look, this is more geometric. Okay. We're going to go with that. So again, since this is about a younger person, and I know her personality, I would love to get gray on there. She loves gray, but I'm going to stick with the black and white. I'm going to make it easy. Okay, and here's a green. Could I do this? Hmm. Could I pull that off? Well, that's a start, right? And again, it has to be fast pages. I'm trying to stick with black and white. There's another one, but it's floral. 
And that's, now see, this is a beautiful black and white. And why would I not go with this? Again, mood and feel. Because if I would pick this pink and this green, forget about this one, I'm going with this right here, that looks more, what do I want to say? <laughs> I don't want to say old folk, but <laughs> let's just put it this way. The geometrics is more youthful. <laughs> How's that? Okay, now if I was doing a page about me or my home, I would have picked that gingham. I would have picked that in a heartbeat. And so, I think those are going to have to be my choices. Now remember, I'm sticking with white. The white. And this is when I was building this kit. I said in the video, which I'll have linked below, don't worry if you have black or if you have white and cream in one kit. Because I have already used cream and today, guess what? I'm going with more white based product. And so that's why I said, don't stress. I love that. Love that green and that, oh, I just love that together. <gasps> Wouldn't that be a nice page? Those three right there. Okay, raccoon, don't get distracted. Oh, okay, now this is a nice text since I'm giving advice. Okay, there's my paper choices. And if I don't decide to go with this green or this pink, Okay, because I just need some, basically, strips, which I could use scraps, but I don't have a lot of scraps yet. I could go with my washies. You can easily make border strips with my washies. And there are some, if I don't want to go with this green, I have some green elements. And again, I had everything in my kit, so basically, what do I do? Just dump it and go, <laughs> honestly. And so I have my sketch picked out, and I really can't show my sketch, but, you know, it's paid, so I don't want to do something I shouldn't. I got my sketch, my photos, and you see the same process. Title. Okay, so my title, I want to say, hey girl, of course, and then I want to say everything's going to be all right, and that's going to be my advice to her. And so what are my three choices I have on my kit? So I definitely could use this, and I think since my title is going to be so long, I'm just going to use in one of these fonts, hey girl, and I could get the element of this gold because I have this gold here. That would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? But I would have to tear a lot of words apart to get Hey Girl. But what this does is this means I could also still go to my stash, my inventory, and look for a gold font that would give me the representation. So it's good to have everything there. Or I may just pick this black, which I might because... That reminds me of her. I might just simply do that. Depends on my time. Depends on how much house work I get done. <laughs> yes. Does it ever end? I don't think so. Oh, to win the lottery and have a permanent housekeeper. Can I get an amen? <laughs> I'd get lots of scrapbooking done if I didn't have to do housework or pay bills. But that's not real life, is it? No. Okay, so since I'm using a kit and since I know I'm only going to have, you know, a few things... As far as my clusters, I don't want to get hot and heavy on this. I just dumped all these out in the lid so I can play around. I have these rose gold hearts, which I honestly think that's what I'm going to go with. And this says my story. Can it get any easier than that? Look at that. Oh my goodness. Just pulling these off. There's some rose gold paper clips. Now the only thing is, if I'm going to go with this gold alpha, I may not go with that. But it's choices, baby. It's choices. You know, get some... Yeah, I, I think that might be some start of some clusters. Absolutely. Oh, and he needs this black tag. And I have a white doily. Oh, choices. Easy when you have everything in a kit. So I think that will be what I, well, that will be what I pull. Now I do have some of these florals. Now she's not a floral girl, but I could get a little bit of dimension. I really use those. And you want to know how long these Prima leaves have been in my inventory? And I have used three or four in the last four or five layouts. It's just been, it's amazing how if something's front and center, you use it. I like that. We don't know. I don't know. But I got some pink. I could sneak some on there. She wouldn't say anything. She, she likes looking at these pages. She likes to see what I write. Does she get all caught up in all the details that I do? No. But she loves the pages. That's what it's all about. Okay, that will be the embellishments I pick out. I'm going to see how fast I can whip this out. Why the house is still quiet. Okay, I shall return. Okay, I'm back with my finished page. And again, 
quick page. And the reason it went quick is because I followed a sketch from Scrapbook Generations. It's on this one page sketch book and I'll have the link below. And if you're on a spending freeze like me, no worries. I'll have the link below for some free Scrapbook Generation sketches. So go look that out. And so in the sketch, I basically followed exactly what it had as far as this mat and these strips. But my own personal style right now is I like matting my photos and I like matting my background. So that's what you do. You take a sketch, make it your own. And that's what I did. Now, I did not have these strips in any paper form because I don't have a lot of scraps just yet, nor it didn't match what I wanted. So what did I do? Again, took my washi and I did the Vanessa trick as far as putting it on cardstock and cutting it out and made my own washi paper strips. I love doing that. And you can watch my first process video to see what the Vanessa trick is all about. Love using my washi that way. And I use my washi a lot more because of doing that Vanessa trick. And so what I did was I just shifted my clusters uh, as far as what the sketch showed. And instead of having one here, I have one over here because I have my journaling. And my journaling is just going to be some advice for my hey girl <laughs> prompt from today's load. And it will be some advice to my little girl. And I really don't want that showed on my video, so that will be done afterwards. And I took that tag that was in my kit, and I took the thickers that was in my kit. Oh, this was in my kit, I think, except maybe that brand. And I just layered it on. And so that's what I mean when you have everything just out and about, you can just make some quick choices. And so since I used this gold here, I made sure I represented in each one of my clusters. And I simply, if I can find it, yeah. I just took these labels that I've had for ages, cut them in half, and that's what I did. Easy peasy. So to get this four screen in, because I had this in the photo, I just wanted a touch of it. So I put a button here and a couple enamel dots there, and that just brings in that green in each one of the clusters. And again, I'll say this, I don't have a lot of four screen in my inventory, so I know when my spending freeze is over, that is the one thing I need to be on the lookout for, some four screen product. I mean, and that's... The best thing is when you have products organized in the way you use them and when you're using your product on a regular basis, you'll see what you have and what you don't have. And it helps you save money. So I wanted to show something when I was putting in this gold element. I did really not want hashtag yes, even though I'll get that in with my journaling. What I really wanted was to use this today. That's what I really wanted. And the reason I really... Now again, there's no rules in scrapbooking. The reason I didn't use it is because the weight of this today thicker is basically the same weight as my title. And so sometimes, you know, when you have something of the same weight and size, your eye doesn't know which one to grab to first. So that's why this hashtag yes would basically be serving as a subtitle. And this is my main title. And then this is just my small cluster. Now, I have some of these things not adhered. Some of them I do because I know this is where it needs to be. But with my journaling, I'm going to have to make sure I get my journaling laid in such a way that it can go around this circular element. So I just have it on some foam tape ready for me to go. And that's what I do when I'm finishing with my journal because, you know, I'm going to computer generate all of this journaling and I want it to have this format around that circle. It'll take a little bit of work, but... It's for my little girl. It's all worth it. So I think that was it other than, well, with this washi, you know, I told you I took this washi and I put it on cardstock. You can also then use your punches and this pink scallop is really washy. I mean, how fun is that? And so then I, with my buttons, I use glossy accents. With my thickers, I use my scotch quick dry and I adhered everything down everything's nice and secure and also too I had my homemade 12 by 12 sticker sheet so pulling all these additional elements so quick so quick I can't stress that enough and honestly that's how fast this page went so I'm going to snap a photo get it loaded to the Flickr gallery and I think I am 14 for 14 amazing. I did not plan that, but that's the way it's going. And I think it's because, remember, this is a kit I had already made. This is my Auburn Lane. And I had no idea that I was going to be scrapbooking these type of topics when I made that kit. 
So they're all done, they're all in hand, and it's making for fast pages, and also I'm using sketches. And then, of course, with the prompts that Alice gives us, you just run with it. So I think that's all I have today. I hope you enjoyed this start-to-finish layout, and come back to RTS because you never know what we're going to learn. Have a great day. Bye.